Chicken and waffles satisfy all the cravings. It's sweet, savory, even a little spicy for any meal, any time of day. And hold on to your Bloody Mary because this is a chicken and waffles casserole. <gasps> chicken and waffles casserole. What goes together like chicken and waffles? Flavor and makers. Don't miss a single video. Click and subscribe now. So I got my baked chicken strips here. I just pulled them out of the oven and I've cut them into one inch pieces. All right, we're gonna let these cool. Over here, we're gonna mix some honey, a little bit of vanilla extract, and some crushed red pepper. Boom, 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 boom. So we've got a hot honey drizzle going right here. This is gonna be the secret that's gonna pull it all together. You got four eggs, I'm gonna crack them into a large bowl. Last one, I'm gonna take some milk, pour it right on in there, whisk that together to create a mixture. We're gonna take half of our honey mixture that we just made, throw that right in our egg and milk mixture. Only half though, we're gonna save the other half. We're gonna talk about that a little later. So we're gonna mix that together. So the honey's gonna be a little sticky in there, you're gonna feel it, but you wanna mix all that together. You'll feel it start to break up in there. We're gonna take some frozen waffles. If your waffles are too hard right out of the freezer, just let them sit for five minutes, let them soften up a bit. We cut them into one inch pieces. We're gonna just throw them right in there. We're gonna take the chicken pieces. We're gonna throw those in there. Use your washed hands. Mix all that together we're gonna toss it. So we got our egg mixture right here. We're gonna pour that directly on top. Now I know what you wanna do, you wanna throw it in the oven right now, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. We want all our waffle pieces, all our chicken pieces to absorb that flavor. We're gonna cover it with foil. So your oven is still preheated from the chicken tenders earlier at 375. We're gonna put the chicken and waffles in the oven for 20 minutes, then we'll remove the foil and bake it for another 25 to 30 minutes. We want that egg mixture to set in there and we want the top of our casserole to be nice and crispy. So the smell of chicken and waffles is filling the kitchen. Can't wait to dig in. And it should look like so. Some browning on the top, some crispy edges that's gonna taste real good. So now you got your drizzle that you held onto. Drizzle right on top, flavor all over. We got this hot honey, vanilla drizzle, all right? Oh yeah. Breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner. You can never go wrong with chicken and waffles. And this baked version using frozen chicken tenders and waffles saves time, but also tastes so good. Make sure you like and subscribe to McCormick on YouTube so you can check out all the Flavor Maker videos. Chicken and waffle casserole.